Okay, uh, next example here, let's get into an applied example. So let's say we had the following. Let's say a patient takes a lab test here and the test comes out positive. Um, so the test returns a correct positive 97% of the time in which the disease is actually present. So somebody's being tested for a disease, 97% uh, of the time it's correct if the patient actually has a disease, it will test positive this test. Uh, and if the patient does not have the disease, the test will give a correct negative, oh so sorry, a correct negative 98% of the time. And let's say 0.8% of all the population has this illness. Okay. Um, now, first question, what is the probability that a person tests positive and has the disease? Okay, so let's look at what we have. Okay, so what we have so far, this first one here. So it's a little bit trickier when we're trying to take uh, words and put them into a probability. So we have the following. We have the probability that if someone has the disease, the odds of them testing positive are 97%. Okay, good. And now, second one here, correct negative in which um, the disease is not present. So we also have this, we test negative correctly, 98% of the time. We also know that 0.8% of the population has the disease. Be careful when you put this one in decimal form, divide by 100 to put any percentage into a decimal and that becomes 0.008. Okay, good. Be so careful with that one. People tend to mix it up when it's a, a strange decimal percentage. Okay, so now what do we want? We want one of the ands. We want the probability of positive and disease. Well, we have positive given has disease. We have probability of has disease. So, oh, sorry about that. Let's do the following then. Probability of positive and disease. I'm just gonna squish this down here. Is going to be the probability of positive given disease. times by the probability of disease. So whatever is behind the line, that's what you need to then multiply by afterwards if that helps. Okay, or you can think of it this way. You could actually switch the order of these and go, okay, somebody has a disease. What are the odds they also test positive given they have that disease, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, and that gives us the following. So positive given has disease is 0.97. Uh, has the disease 0 0.008. Multiply those two together and let's see what we get. 0 0.00776. Beautiful. So that's the odds of testing positive and having the disease. Okay, let's keep going with this example. We're actually going to revisit this example in the Bayes rule um, lecture. Um, so now, what is the probability of the person tests negative and has the disease? Okay, so remember before, actually let's just go back and have a look here. So we want negative and has the disease. So this is a little bit sneaky. We have negative and no disease. Okay, we have positive and disease. Okay, how can we deal with negative and disease? We have negative and no disease right now. Okay, well what we're going to want to look at is the following. We have probability of positive and has disease. That 0.97. Okay, what we can do is take a complement. So test positive out of the people who have the disease, the test tests positive 97% of the time. Well, what's left is the 3% of the time 
it does not test positive. Well, if it does not test positive, it's going to test negative. So we can actually get the probability of negative given has disease by taking the complement of the positive given has disease. And then to get the and, which is what we're looking for, then multiply the following, multiply the negative given has disease by what's behind the line here, which is has disease, which is the 0 .008. And let's see what that gives us. It gives us 0 0.00024. Beautiful. Sorry about that. Okay, and finally, what is the probability that, a, that the person tests positive and does not have the disease? Okay. So positive and does not. Can we use either of these? Um, no, we can't. What we actually have to go off of now is the probability of negative given does not have. Or we can say no disease, I think is what we said before. So we have negative given no disease. That was the um, 0.98. Okay, let's just go back and have a look here. Um, so negative given no disease was the 0.98 right there. Okay, now um, going back here from that, okay, so if the test, so given that somebody has no disease, they don't have the disease, the test will give a negative result 98% of the time. That means that the other 2% of the time, it will give a positive result. So it'll be inaccurate 2% of the time if it's accurate 98% of the time. It hurts the brain a little bit. You might want to go back and just practice this again later. Take a break. Try the same question again. Um, okay, I'll put up the, um, the blank version of these PowerPoints as well so you can go off of those. Um, okay, now from that, what we can get is positive and no disease. Again, by multiplying probability of, uh, let's do it this way, no disease times by the probability of positive given no disease. Okay. No, you can write these in either order in multiplication. Multiplication you can do in either order. For example, 3 times 5 is the same as 5 times 3, right? You can multiply the numbers in either order, it doesn't matter. Okay, so back to here, so odds of no disease, well we know the odds of having the disease are uh, 0 0.008, what are the odds of not having the disease? Okay, uh, they are 1 minus that, which actually gives point. 992. Okay. And then again, that's another complement. Uh, and then we already figured out what positive given no disease was. That's that point zero 0.02. And then multiply those two together. So figure out what's in your bracket first, which is that point 0.992. Uh, and then times by the point zero 0.02. And that gives us point zero 0.0198. Four. Okay.